guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, today we're going to go ahead and do the top 10 um, Dokkan Fest Easy Ace. Uh, I've used uh, quite a bit of them extensively. I would have done this video a couple of days ago, but we of course did just get a new Easy ATUR. Um, an Int Angel Golden Frieza. So again, I've used a lot of these characters um, in Red Zone and a lot of difficult content. Um, I feel like I got a pretty good look at, uh, in Angel Golden Freeze, like I know where he's going to be good, where he's going to be bad, so I'm pretty confident, actually, with this list. Now, first, at number 10, um, we're actually going to have two units here, um, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, honestly, I feel like they're still good. They could still perform, uh, pretty decently, these two characters, right? Um, because what happens with Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta is that they are near-perfect linking partners with, what I mean, basically what I could consider three of the top four units in the game in LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. The way these two link up perfectly with those characters while also being powerful is very good. Um, now, what is aged rapidly, of course, is their defensive ability. This is pre-7th anniversary defensive ability. Um, I think that Goku in particular, once this is built up for several turns, he could be looking okay, but he's not tanking like type neutral easily in a lot of the really tougher fights, right? Um, I feel like Goku can perform well maybe against like Janemba or Physical Cooler or something like that, right? Where you, or maybe like Ice Shenron in the Shadow Dragon stage. You know, one of these like fights that like ends um, with a tough physical phase where this guy can be good. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, of course, will be powerful in Super Battle Road as well. But th both of these guys do pretty decent damage, I think, um, uh, especially compared to some other characters on this list. Um, I do like both. I, I think both Super Saiyan 4s um, are looking very good. Um, so next, we actually have EZA Tech Hit right here. Now, Tech Hit has definitely fallen from when he first came out. Um, I think a lot of this, though, is that he, he doesn't really have what I would consider teams. Yeah, he has zero, like, what I consider relevant teams right now. Zero, right? Uh, same problem that, like, Hit and God Goku have. Um, Hit, though, you know, I... If he had a perfect, incredible partner... Like, imagine, like, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta shared, like, 6 out of 7 with Hit. You definitely could use Hit in the red zone, right? Like, it's like, he's not gonna, like, oh my god, he's double-digit tanking. But, like, you, I, I feel like he could be effective, right? If he had, like, a really good linking partner who was, like, a slot 1 character... Um, maybe if Hit and God Goku get a team that they could be utilized on, and then this Hit is also on there, perhaps, right? We'll see. Um, but it doesn't quite exist right now. Um, what a lot of people think Angel Golden Frieza can do in Super Battle Road, this guy can actually do in Super Battle Road. This guy can single-handedly win you, um, Super Battle Road fights, which, I, in my no-item run for Universe 6 Extreme Super Battle Road, the most recent Extreme Super Battle Road stage, uh, that just happened. Hit literally just uh, one. I, I I I don't think I even got hit one time in the entire run because he kept the enemy stun locked the entire time. Uh, like if you if you do this right or no here, let me highlight the correct portion here. Whole rotation universe six and medium chance of stunning. It's powerful, right? And he's got stun right there, and then he's got stun right here, and then he's got a debuff right here, and he's just he's very powerful, right? Hit hit can be pretty good. Um, but, you know, he's a little bit lower on the list. Lack of teams, lack of options, you know, stuff like that. Um, all right, so next we have uh, Int UI Goku here. Now, Int UI Goku in base is, like, really bad. Like, he's, like, way worse than the Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, he's just awful. This right here is just horrible. He's so bad. Th this is not going to help you literally anywhere. This guy just gets cucked. Um... But the thing is, you fall below 50% HP, and then this guy comes out. This guy is dominant a beast. Stacking with 70% chance to dodge, and then his first turn, he has guaranteed dodge. This is a very effective character right here. This transforms in UI Goku. Um, it's like, it, it can be tough to kind of utilize him in some of these tougher stages. Um, you know, you could go into a Super Battle Road stage, he's on turn one, you instantly, like, he gets killed, you instantly die, right? Or you can go into a Super Battle Road run, he's on turn two, you start to turn out under 50% HP, and he will win the fight for you, right? He, like, he, there's kind of those back and forths. Um, 
This guy by himself would probably be one on this list. Honestly, I, I think he would be. I would have this transformed in UI Goku as one on here. Um, but his base form, I just consider so bad. Angel Golden Freeze is better than this UI Goku base form. Like, base form UI Goku is not good. Um, but this hard carries, right? Um, all right, so next we have Physical Omega Shenron. Um, this is another character, I think, right now, who is definitely hurt by, uh, like, sort of, like, lack of teams. Now, if we look at the Shadow Dragon Saga, it, it is very powerful, right? I mean, I, you could run Shadow Dragon Saga and probably beat every single Red Zone stage. Um, but, like, you know, running, like, double physical Omega, I don't know. I, you definitely, like, with Tech Sin right there, and then, like, the other rotation could be, like, the LR Super Saiyan 4s and... LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku or something like that. It certainly could work. I This guy looks really strong. I, I don't know. I think um, what I would like to see is maybe a, a, a transforming Sin Shenron, like Dokkan Fest LR, who um, like eats all of the Dragon Balls and then transforms into Omega. I think that would be perfect to help out GT bosses, the Shadow Dragons, um, all of these types of characters, right? I think it would be very, very good. Um, again, that banner unit text in Shenron is really powerful. This Omega is very strong, but it's very important that you have, you know, big bad bosses, shadow dragons, GT, shocking speed, all like, look, dude, 10% defense, 5% defense, 20% defense, 25% defense. Like that's where this guy starts to look really good is once you're really stacking up all the defense from those links and stuff like that. So, um, this guy is definitely good. Um, I might even have him higher, um, if not for the fact that it's like Shadow Dragon Saga is definitely a good team, but it, I, I feel like that build is definitely a little bit wonky, and I don't know that I'm running him on a lot of these other teams. I guess you, you definitely could run him on Power Absorption, though, right? Um, and this is where he would be so helped out, because Sin Shenron is not on Power Absorption, but if it was a transforming Sin Shenron they would be on power absorption. So then you could run, like, a, a rotation of Sin and this Omega um, on Cell's power absorption team. That could be very good. I think this Omega still is going to be able to make noise into the future. He, he's a good unit, for sure. Um, okay, so next we have uh, EGL Super 17. Now, I mean, I feel like this is where things could start to get a little bit controversial. I mean, some people might not agree with this, but, I mean, I was using Super 17 as, like, an ace character in no iteming most of the red zone stages um this guy is so effective uh especially the way that that android team is constructed where you have 17 and 18 and then you have 19 and 20 around it makes this guy work so good now at the start of turn he'll take damage don't think you're starting turn one and he's invincible because he's not it's the same tech ultimate gohan is not invincible turn one either anymore no he's not um, but, like, he it's just, like, one super attack, and all of a sudden, he's tanking, like, crazy. Tech Ultimate Gohan. And then he just keeps going, and, you know, he's not taking damage from anything. Um, super 17 is like that, too. Except Super 17 has to take a couple of hits before his damage reduction builds up. So, he could really take a lot of damage. Um, but his effectiveness in the very most difficult content in the game... Uh, you know, I would have liked to have put him even higher. I, do... Would I put him in front of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? I don't know. I don't know if I could put him in front of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, though. I, I feel like Super 17's in a good spot. This guy's really good. Um, the, what, the thing that just sucks, this guy is like... He would be the Broly killer. This would be like the, biggest, the, the best unit in the game against Broly, if you could dodge Broly. Because the AoE phase, this guy would cuck him. AGL Broly is like the you know the toughest phase in the game. Uh, Gogeta would have type advantage. Broly could double super. Gogeta could double super attack counter him in one. Like it would get nasty. This guy would d dominate Broly so hard. But they just say nope, you can't dodge, and then that locks this guy out of dominating what is you know the hardest fight in the game. Um, this guy could still be very effective in a lot of the red zone fights though. Um, he does have this extreme class enemy debuff. Which can be helpful, of course, if you're doing like um, some Super Battle Road stages or Battlefield. I think that could be very good in Battlefield, right? This guy can be very effective against like Battlefield Broly, who is really powerful right now. Um, this guy's good. 
Uh, but this guy, is a, he's a bit comparable to the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I've found that, like, once this is built up to max, right? Like, this guy definitely feels more powerful than the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And he's got a better chance to counter, too. Um, but it's like, you know... Uh, this guy is good, but it, it's just he, he kind of has an unfortunate situation where the other thing, too, with him is that he doesn't rock. He doesn't have Saiyan Roar, right? So it's like a lot of times I'm running the LR Super Saiyan 4 team and I'm just gravitating towards the LR Super Saiyan 4s, which are just superior characters, right? Uh, that have Saiyan Roar that are better linking up with Super Saiyan LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because that's uh, that's the best unit in the game, right? The character you build around, right? And it's like. The LR Super Saiyan Force and the, even the EZATUR Super Saiyan Force link up better with LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta than the regular Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. Um, all right, now we start to get into very, very good units. Um, next here, we have Physical Future Gohan. Um, I think that Physical Future Gohan is actually very powerful. Um, so it's a bit deceiving. If you look at him, you see he's got this 120% attack and defense and then a medium chance to crit if there's a future Saga Trunks in the same turn. That is not like, um, like he needs that to be good. That is not the case. In my experience, this guy is tanking like Red Zone Broly. It's just about him building up this damage reduction. So he starts out at 30% damage reduction and he builds up another uh, 28%. This fully built up, this guy in like the second and third slot super attacking he can eat a super attack from, like, Red Zone Broly, Red Zone Omega, all these tough Red Zone bosses without a Trunks in the same rotation. So it's just very effective. 58% damage reduction is very good. And especially he works very well on the Goku family team led by Goku and Gohan. You know, you could run, like, a full all-in-the-family build. This guy is great on there. I found this guy was helped by the Red Zone. The red zone being brought in, I feel like, has made this guy better to me. I like him a lot better because he, uh, how well he performs in those red zone stages. And I would say this is probably more of a red zone character um, than, like, Super Battle Road or something like that. Since, you know, Super Battle Road, he's only got the 30% damage reduction, right? He still has to build that up. So, that's definitely uh, a very important thing to keep in mind right there. Um, next, we have SCR Ultimate Gohan. Um, now, SCR Ultimate Gohan um, is a character who... Uh, it, it, it's, you know, he's one of these coin flip characters where sometimes he's really not that good. Um, sometimes he is really good, uh, right? Because he has to get his guard to activate. Um, the one thing a lot of people don't understand, like, they just, they act like he's an every single turn coin flip to guard character, which he's not, right? Once you get the, the coin flip to actually proc right here, um, then he has it for the next four turns, which can be very helpful. Keep in mind, if he gets hit by a physical type enemy, that will activate his guard as well. Um, this guy could do pretty good damage if his guard is up and he could triple super. He is also a support type unit. This guy is powerful. It's just, you know, if, if he was just a guaranteed guard character, he'd be number one on this list easy, right? Um, but like, you know, sometimes you're going to get killed. Uh, he is very good, though. Um, this guy might actually be better, too, um, with the movie stuff potentially dropping soon. We we will see, right? Um, all right, so next, we have AGL Turles. I have AGL Turles at numero dos right here. Um, I think AGL Turles is very good. Um, I personally have seen his defensive numbers and offensive numbers at just, like, utterly ridiculous levels. I think that Turles just needs, a, like, potentially a better team or better partners or something. Turles does have two 200% leader skills. Um, Raditz is pure Saiyan team, and then Ginyu's Terrifying Conqueror team, but Raditz sucks, and then Ginyu does not work well with Turles, right? I mean, Turles is a big bad boss's Thirst for Conquest character. So, ideally, you would have some powerful Cooler or Bojack or another Turles next to this guy. Um, Turles needs help, is just the way it is. Um, I think Turles is gonna be powerful for a long time to come, though. Uh, so it's like, it's not like he, you know, oh my god, if he doesn't get help in the next five seconds, he's dead. I don't think that, because he could still be very effective in Super Battle Road stages, too. You've got the stun, you have the enemy debuff on Super Class enemies, too, right? Like, he can be effective. I, I think that this Turles is really quite good. He just needs help. Um, if, like, LR Turles was, like, a top 10 unit in the game contender or something like that, I might even have this Turles at 1. He, he is very good. Um, and then at number one, I have AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta. Um, this guy, 
he is just very surprising to me and how powerful he can be. This blue Vegeta, he's ridiculous. Um, when he transforms, he's double digit tanking all of the red zone bosses. Broly, Omega, all into Omega. This guy double digit tanks. He could rack up the damage too um, with his super attacks, right? He could quadruple super attack. He's a good, got a good Saiyan Link set. He's on a million teams. He's on multiple 200% lead teams. I've no item so many red zone stages with this guy on the team. He's just very powerful. I, I I real I feel very comfortable putting this guy as number one. I feel like he's he does a lot. He it's very easy to just run him. He's very cohesive with the team. He does not drag the team down. Because remember, the thing about some of these red zone stages too is it's like these red zone bosses, they know, man. They bully the weak link on the team. They oh I prompt. They will always bully the weak link on the team, and that is not Vegeta, right? Like, you know, Vegeta can get caught by a super attack, but, I mean, Super 17 could take supers in the red zone. S tier ultimate Gohan can if he's guarding. Physical future Gohan can, especially if he super attacks first, his damage reduction's built up. Gogeta can counter it, you know, but in UI Goku, he's got to be transformed or he gets one shot, right? Like, a, a lot of these characters, like, I, I'm comfortable with this. Um, Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. The only thing, maybe... Hit in front of you? Nah, nah. I'm I'm okay putting UI Goku in front of Hit. Um, I would probably go with this. Some people maybe would be upset about in Angel Golden Frieza, but no way, dude. Like, there's nowhere to run him. Um, like Hit is way better in Super Battle Road, right? Like, I I just this guy is just not that good. Angel Golden Frieza. I'm sorry. Like, they just did not do a good job with him. He debuffs Super Class allies, yet they want you to run him with Universe Seven reps. Like, doesn't really make a ton of sense. A weird, wonky design. Um, it's not overblown, like, the community's reaction to how unimpressive that Freeze is. He really is that unimpressive, unfortunately. So, uh, there we go. Um, let me know what you guys think about, um, the top 10 easy AT wars. Let me take another glance at this. Yeah, I, um, yep, I feel completely fine with this. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.